All right, guys, today I am going to be making these um, sublimated blank, um, bracelets along with the compact mirrors. And I'm going to try to get four of them or four designs on one sheet of paper so that I don't have to do a bunch of um, sublimation sheets. All right, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to do four uh, designs, four different designs, I'm, or I'm going to upload four different images that I'm going to be using for the bracelets and also for the um, compact mirror. So inside Cricut Design Space, we're going to go and we're going to upload and we're going to click on upload image, browse, and I'm going to go to my, I think I have it on my desktop. Da, 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 da. There we have it. All right, so for the um, for the bracelets and the mirrors, I'm going to be using these designs here. So let me make sure I did. Okay, so we got one here. We're going to open. We're going to select complex and continue. And apply and continue. And we're going to leave it on the print then cut and upload. So that's one. We're going to go back to upload image, browse. We're going to go back to that same folder. And these are images that I created in Mid Journey, guys. So these are not images that I purchased from anyone. And let's see, I want this one. These are all going to my granddaughters in Atlanta for Valentine's Day. Then we're going to upload again, browse, back to my desktop. And I could have this folder open and just drag into Cricut Design Space, but I'm always extra. Don't know why. Okay, let's see. For Malaya, I think I'm going to go with this one. And I'm just following the same steps. I'm going to upload them all to Cricut Design Space first. And then I will bring them all to my canvas once I get them done. All right, so now I have all four. So I'm just gonna select each one and click on add to canvas. And that way I didn't have to add to canvas, go back and add to canvas four separate times. I brought all my images into Cricut Design Space and then just add to canvas at once, okay? So for my compact mirrors, my image sizing is gonna be a two by two. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select um, two for the width. It automatically assigns the height. So I'm going to unlock it and do it again, two. And then we're going to lock it back. And we're going to go here and unlock it and do the same thing, two and two. And then lock it back unlock and we're going to go two and two lock it back and the same thing here unlock it and we're going to go two and two all right and lock that back so this is going to take care of the mirrors so i'm going to put that up there And then we are going to duplicate each one of these. All 
And this time we're going to make one zero, each one of them 0 0.7, because remember we got the compact mirror and then we have the bracelet. So for the bracelet, we need this to be at a 0 0.7 and a 0 0.7. So I'm making the, um, I'm gonna make each one 0 0.7. And don't worry guys, it looks really, really small on here, but you will be able to, you will be able to see it. But they are small. Okay, unlock 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 and lock it back. And now we're gonna do this one. Unlock 0 0.7 and 0 0.7. And we're gonna lock it back. All right, so now we have all of our um, designs that we're going to be sublimating. And we're gonna see if Cricut is gonna let us all of these at one time. We're going to see. Stranger things have happened. All right, so we're going to group this. So I've highlighted each one of them. We're going to group it and we're going to attach it. All right, so now we have everything all in one and it's showing us that we're at 6.19 by 5.1. So we're fine for printing out um, all of them at one time, okay? So now we're gonna go and we're gonna select make it. And we have all of them. Now that one looks, these look like they're very far down close to that um, registration mark. Hopefully it does not cut my little thing here. Let me just make sure I'm gonna bring these up let me detach for a second and ungroup. And I'm gonna bring these up just so that I'm not close to the registration marks. Okay. And the cute thing about this is you can add initials. I don't I don't recommend putting full names of kids um, of the child's name on anything because then people can pretend like they know them. But um, you know, you could definitely put you know, initials on here if you want it to really truly personalize these. And we're gonna attach again. And maybe I should have brought that one up too. Hold on. I'm getting really funny, guys. Y'all know I don't be in Cricut Design Space that much now, like hardly ever. So I don't wanna compromise my um, cuts. All right, there we go. We're gonna group that and then we're gonna attach it again. We're gonna make it. And we got our print then cut. So it's gonna send this to the printer and then we're going to cut it out. Um, now I may do a rough cut. I'll determine that in a moment, but we do wanna make sure that we I'm going to put this on eight and a half by 11 because that's what size my paper is. And I'm also going to mirror because we're doing sublimation. So we want to mirror our images. Okay. And then in the bottom right, we're going to click on continue. I'm using the Epson Workforce. Well, for my printing, I'm using the HP OfficeJet Pro 7740. So we're going to select center printer. And I'm using ASA paper eight and a half by 11. So we're gonna change this to my HP OfficeJet Pro 7740. We're not going to have a bleed on there. We're gonna use the system dialog and click on print. And we're gonna come back over to the Epson 7740 preferences. We're just gonna make sure that we have it on plain paper Best print and letter, and we're using tray one. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and print this out and then I will come up on screen and we'll finish up. Hey guys, I don't know what I was thinking about. I was talking about using my um, HP Offset Pro 7740 and I printed out on it and I'm looking at it and I'm like, this don't look like sublimation ink. That was my inkjet printer. So correction, I'm using my Epson Workforce 77. 20. You can tell the difference between the inkjet ink and the sublimation ink, okay? So I knew right off the bat when it came out that that was not right. <laughs> so whew, I would have been like, why is this thing not sublimating? Because you're using the wrong ink. All right, so here are our images. Now, I think I'm going to put this in the Cricut Maker and let the Cricut Maker cut it for me. And hopefully it doesn't chop it up. Um, these are the bracelets. And that's where our image is going to go inside there. And they come in multiple colors. So you get the pink. You got several of the pink. And then they got like this kind of nude brownish looking color. And then you got blue. And also black. So you get four different colors um, and they come with the little things that you sublimate onto your little sublimation blanks. I'm pretty sure this has a plastic coating on top of it. Um, and then the good thing about these guys is that it came with the little blue adhesive thing, the three um, So you peel this off and then put this sublimation thing on top of that to get it to stick okay so with my um compact mirrors i have to use my um glue so i'm probably going to do one with you and then i'm going to do the others and then i'll show all four of them okay just for time purposes same thing with the um the bracelets but i'm probably going to make me one of these too the bracelets are adjustable guys so it fits big hands like mine <laughs> It will fit big hands like mine, and then you just go back in and get it right on here. Okay. You just go back in and adjust it. I got to pull the right cord or string thing here, but they are adjustable. Let me see. There it is. So that's as small as it gets. Uh oh. So you can see that. And then you can widen, widen it. So let me do it again. So they will fit bigger people like myself. Got to get a hold on it. And then it goes like that. Isn't that cute? Okay. So I'll probably do with me one later today. All right. So I'm going to put these on. Maybe I'll use my purple. Bit. I'll tell you guys, since I started hanging up my mats, it has been so much better being able to find these things because normally I just would chunk them anywhere. This one doesn't feel as sticky as my, as my green mat though. So I'm going to put it on my old dirty green mat. I need to clean this thing at some point in time. All right. So we're going to have Cricut to cut this out. And when I use paper like this, I always put it on an intricate cut so that it doesn't just chop my paper up. I'm going to get Cricut, get my little blanket here. I'm going to get Cricut to cut these out for me. And again, I'm going to be using intricate uh, cardstock setting. I'm using the Cricut Maker. And they have a cardstock for intricates in the settings. All right. So I'm going to put this over here and let Cricut get the cutting. It's going to look for the registration mark first. 
Oops, did I turn it off? I think I turned it off. I hit the wrong button. I hit the turn off the power button. Y'all, I'm starting to get my gray hairs right here, but I think I like it. At first, I was thinking about dyeing it, but I don't think so. I'm just let the gray come on in. Hello, gray. All right, let's see here. We are going to... I'm going to cancel. Yes. And then I'm going to say continue. And I'm going to tell Cricut that I've already printed it. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to find my Cricut maker. And then, um, guys, I did the compact mirrors with you, uh, the mirror book with you guys before. I'll do one um, just so that you don't have to go back and look for that tutorial. But I'll do one. These, they do come with the little sublimatable blanks. And they do have a little piece of plastic on top of them. So you do have to peel that off as well as on your compact mirror. And you have to use some type of glue to glue this to this. And that's where I used last time my B7000. So that's what I'll be using um, here today. So I'm going to go back and select Intricate. And this time I'm going to try not to turn my Cricut Maker off. I don't know how I did that, guys. I guess the same way I told you I was using my HP Office Chip Pro Printer when I'm not. All right, so you don't have to do any default. I mean, you don't have to do any more pressure or anything because it's just paper. So we're going to go ahead and put this in. Oops. All right, here we go. All right, so Cricut, anytime... And I'll use the image here because I'm not going to turn my printer around. I mean, my thing camera around. You don't know what you're doing. All right, here it is. All right, so anytime you uh, are printing using Cricut Design Space, you're gonna end up with this black registration mark going around your image. Cricut needs that in order to know where to cut your images or to cut your image um, out from, okay? That's the purpose of this registration mark. You don't have to panic when you see the black mark and worry that it's gonna be in your over or the output of your project because it's not, okay? That's just to help Cricut to know where to cut. If at any point in time Cricut tells you it can't um, locate the registration marks, then you can get a black permanent marker. I would highly recommend using a ruler so you can get your lines straight and just go over those black lines. And trust me, Cricut will be able to pick it up then. Sometimes it's your light, your lines may, may, may not be dark enough for Cricut to recognize them. So you can use a black permanent marker um, to help you out. All right. So far, so good. It's no way I would have been able to cut those little 0 0.7 by 0 0.7s out myself. And it's done. All right, so all of our images have been cut out for us now. And I'm just gonna peel this off. And that's our images. And I'm just going to pop them all up because we're going to try to kill four, bur four birds <laughs> with one stone. I was about to say kill, kill how many, but I had to remember I'm doing four. Um, I need to calibrate my cutting machine because I haven't done it since I purchased it, which has been almost nine years ago now. So I can tell that I do need to calibrate it. And I hear my heat press over there letting me know that it is ready to go. I'm going to sub these guys at 374 for 60 seconds. Um, and I'm going to go, go from there. So I'm going to line these up. I'm going to come right back. Okay, can't reach it. 
I'm going to line these all up with their blanks. And it doesn't matter what direction you put them in, but you just want to make sure you got it covered. Okay, and you can use some tape to hold it in place like I'm going to do. And that's just so that when you put the press down, you don't have to end up with any ghosting. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to get my blanks over here. Now, I did tell you that there's a plastic coating, and I did not take the plastic coating off. I don't know what's wrong with me today, y'all. But I know it is a plastic coating on here. So hold on one second here because if you don't take that plastic coating off you're going to be sublimating onto plastic and not your um thing so i gotta retake the tape off that one but if you guys can see that hopefully you can see it's a piece of tape so you're going to take that off before you sublimate on here And these are going to be a little bit trickier because they're smaller. So I'm going to do the matching one so I can show you the one at one time. So I'm going to take this one off because it's got tape on here. And then we will re-tape that back down. Be careful because you don't want to scratch your blank. So I'm just kind of barely trying to get that um that tape up okay so this is what i would have been sublimating to is this piece of plastic okay so make sure you remove those if you decide to purchase these um they are linked or will be linked in the description i purchased them off of amazon there we go all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get um, each one of my things covered and then I'll meet you at the press so we can press them all at the same time and then we'll put, put them together so you can see what they're gonna look like. Now I'm going to be including these inside these little Chinese takeout boxes that I thought were really, really cute. Um, But that's what I'm going to be putting these in with candy and stuff like that. And I'm going to take these image uh, image like this, but it's going to be the full image, not the rounded image. And I'm going to put one on each one so that they'll know, you know, what design is in what box. I did a larger size for this one or a bigger girl for this one because this one is for my 16-year-old granddaughter versus these being for my younger granddaughters. Okay, so I'm trying to get them kind of age appropriate, you know. All right, guys, I'm going to get these all taped up and ready for sublimation, and then we'll go to the press. All right, guys, here we are at the press. We have all of our images covered. I'm just going to place a sheet on top. And like I said, we're going to be pressing these at three, I think I said 374 for 60 seconds. And <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> And then I will bring you back when they are done. All right, guys, we are done. And I'm going to let these cool off. And then we're going to, uh, I'm going to meet you back over at my uh, work desk. And we're going to put these together. All right, guys, so we got our sublimated images and they've cooled down here. And let me get my scissors. Um, you can always tell when you have a good sub, when you can see the ink start to bleed through. So you can see that these should be in good shape because that ink has started to seep through to the other side. So we're just going to cut that off. And she turned out cute. Okay. There you have.
have it. So hopefully you guys can see see that. Let's see if that's better. Okay, so we're gonna take each one outside of the little plastic bag that it's in and we're going to peel off that piece of plastic that is on there and discard that and I'm going to take my B7000 and I'm just going to put that here and last time I used this stuff it was so hard to get it out But it's coming, but it's slow. All right, let's put that down there. I can only use this thing like this is my second time using it, and I opened it and made sure that the top was on it, so I don't understand why it is being so difficult to come out. Might have to get some more glue because this is going to drive me crazy. Okay, just going to make sure I get it enough on here. I may be able to get away with it with my other glue that I have over here. But I'm just going to make sure I have enough on here for it to stick. I think that's good. So I'm only going to do one with you on this because the process is going to be the same. You want to make sure that when they open it, that the image can be seen. So, like that. So, you want to make sure that the image is like on this side. Just like that. And then the mirror is on that side. All right. So I'm going to let this um, dry. Just making sure that it looks nice and pretty. And then I'm going to do one of the bracelets now this is my first time doing the bracelets so we're gonna see how these little babies turned out i think you all know by now i don't like working with small pieces not my thing okay Let's take a peeky leaky. Oh, it turned out so pretty. All right, so that's the one for Micaiah, my 16 year old granddaughter. And I'm going to just do the matching set so you guys can. I'm going to find the one to that so you guys can see the matching bracelet. And it doesn't matter about scratching on this side, guys, because it's going to be facing the back side of the bracelet. But now you can see why I don't like working with little small pieces. I take this baby good. Okay. And 
This is the other little peekaboo. I say peekaboo, but they're called chibi. There we go. So that's the other one. I could have come over a little bit better, but they'll be fine. You guys do a better job than I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get this next one off. Just so you can see how to connect the bracelet. Make sure I don't stick myself with this Cricut tool because this Cricut tool ain't no joke. Okay, this is the matching one for that. So you guys can see, hopefully. And I'm going to take that one. And hopefully this is double-sided. We're going to see. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take... I think I'm going to do this one for Malaya. I'm going to put the three of them down inside of the bracelet. And then peel the other side up. And this is the side that the sublimated image is going to stick to. Pop that in there like that and make sure you get it nice and tight down in there <clears throat> and you don't have to worry about these ruining guys because they're sublimated which means that the only thing that's gonna mess these up is if they take a metal object and scratch it so there's one so now we have the compact mirror with the matching bracelet. I'm going to finish up the other three, and then I'll come back and show you all of them. All right, guys, I am on my last bracelet, and these have turned out really cute. Really, really cute. Even though there are little pieces that I don't like to work with, they've turned out really cute. Um, I highly suggest that you make sure that 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 the three M thingy is in there good because once you get it in, it's hard to kind of take it out. So um, I'm using my Cricut tool to make sure that I get it around the edges really nicely and that it's not sticking up outside of the bracelet. You can almost hear it like pop um, when you get it in there. So here we have the bracelet and the compact for Micaiah, my oldest granddaughter. She got the pink. And then we have Mariah. She got the kind of tan color. Really cute. And then have Anasia. She got the black. And then we have Makaya. She got the light blue. So they turned out really, really cute. Um, like I said, once you're done with them, you can take them and put them back into the little plastic baggies. So the next tutorial I'm going to do is to show you how I put together the um little valentine's chinese box which is this these are all going to be going in one of those each design for each granddaughter 
and I will do a tutorial on that to give you some gifting ideas for Valentine's. So guys, if you um if you're currently in my Facebook group, guys, thank you so much for the love and support that you show via Facebook. If you would like to join my Facebook group, Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, then please um, go to my go to the description in my video tutorial and click on the link for my Facebook group, which will be at the very bottom of the description. Click on that link and uh, agree to the Facebook group rules and we'll get you in. If you are currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via YouTube. See how nicely that just goes right back in there? Each one of them. And I'm going to put a little piece of tape on the back. So now I got four compact mirrors and four bracelets. One for each granddaughter. So they're all going to be a part of their Valentine's gifts. All right which I'll be putting this box together and I'll show you how to I do that. But if you are currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via YouTube. If you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, I will also link in the description the supplier for the compact mirror as well as the supplier for the bracelets. And I think the bracelets, I think you get 12. 12 bracelets, three different colors, four colors, and three of each one. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. But I'll link both of the suppliers in the description as well. And guys, you know, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.